the first thing you think about when you wake up is your OPY, go ahead and hit that like button. Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, jpm.cuisine. Guys, today for you, we're looking at the Quantum One series by Dow Strong. This is the eight and a half inch chef knife. They went full on amazing with the box. People are gonna cringe. If you wanna cringe about a box, go ahead, cringe about a box. If you wanna save it and keep it in the box, no one's gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. If you're gonna complain about the swag, I do know people who have complained about the swag in the past, so what? Uh, but let's take a look at the Quantum One, eight and a half inch chef knife. Look at this, leather sheath. Did I call it a sheath? A chief? A sheath. I can't say, anyways. A leather holder. Faux leather, I imagine. Uh, maybe not. With Dow Strong, they could surprise me. That feels like leather right there. Um, and kind of feels like carbon fiber. It is carbon fiber. Holy crap, G10. Anyway, let's open this up. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that profile there. Eight and a half inch chef's knife. We have the um, very flat handle. Seen this a few times on other knives. Not done as well as this. This is fantastic, wow. Uh, it's a, can, a G10 carbon fiber handle. I'm like, wow, what in the world? This is nuts, guys. This is insane, this is nice. Wow, look at that, that sheen on it too. Let's go ahead and get a weight on it before I lose my mind here. Going insane. All right, 269 grams. For those viewers at home who want to make sure that I'm not skewing data. Boom, 270, I'm skewing data. No, does that. Anyways, <laughs> let's take a look at this. Holy moly. So we've got uh, a little uh, stainless band, very high, highly polished band here in between uh, two pieces of the G10, the carbon fiber handle or the scales, if you will, on each side. Uh, kind of has that little cross in the middle. That's very nice, good feel. Um, I know people are cringing, it's Dow Strong. Ah, guys, don't be so quick to judge. First of all, things made in China, we don't have to sit there and say, oh man, everything made in China is garbage. I'm not on that bus, so I don't have a problem with it. Anyways, let's talk about this knife here. Okay, so we've got a highly polished, this is a raised finish. Um, it's not etched. Uh, if it is, it's machine etched. Um, on the on the blade wow and so it's got these grooves in it um it feels fantastic that handle is very unique it's it feels like a um a delrin style handle even though it's g10 it, it does feel like g10 you know that carbon fiber that that g10 type handle feels like that but the texture i mean is super smooth so i don't know how that's going to play out usually g10 has uh some good grip whenever your hands are wet uh, so I won't complain about it until I actually get my hands wet and try it. But, you know, uh, it does feel very, very smooth. You do have a little bit of a raised seam here with the uh, with the band. It feels great. Um, you know what? Let's just cut. We'll see what it does. All right, we got some red onion here. And so, again, I'm sitting down when I cut. Don't hold me to my, my technique. I'm not, uh, what's his name? Anyways, who, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a chef. There was a chef who used to used to cut sitting down he can do it i am getting used to it. this thing is very sharp and very uh, well polished okay so it's just gliding through there and i'm just oh this knife is sharp uh it is just gliding through okay so that polish on it feels very well the the feel the eight and a half on this one the profile holy moly this knife feels fantastic okay let's go ahead and take a look at the profile i skipped that i'm sorry uh, so we got a little bit of a rock here, look at that. Not as, and then it's a rounded all the way down to the heel. So it's, there is no real flat spot on this knife. It's just a constant rocker. It feels fantastic though, holy moly. Wow, it is so slick. I love it. All right, first impression as over the top as it looks. Performance wise, it feels like it's there right now. Let's grab another onion and do some slicing on it, okay? So we're just gonna do some slice. Oh my goodness, it feels comfortable. And the one thing I'm noticing, I don't know if you can see that, but oh, this way. 
that way, JP, right here. I'm getting, <laughs> because of the length of this handle, it's going in with my pinch grip, it's going into my, uh, just, just past my wrist here. And so I'm getting a lot more leverage if I'm trying to cut I'm getting, let's see where it is. I get a little bit more, more leverage here, which not necessarily the best technique, but you know what? The length on this handle is the first thing I notice. And so uh, cutting wise, oh man, I got onion everywhere. I hate cutting onion in my studio. It smells so bad. Man, woo, it just glides through there. Let's go ahead and cut up some tomato. All right, here we go. Woo, did you see? Wow, this is a sharp knife. Very sharp knife. Okay, here we go. One. Horizontal cuts are through some little draw, little push. Oh my God, you're making salsa? What salsa? That salsa's gonzo. Holy moly, love it. All right, let's just do a, a quick little, just some cuts. I mean, it pushes through. It is, it's pushing through it. So the edge from factory is, is very sharp. The polish on it, it makes it feel like you're gliding, like you're actually cutting through hot butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, that. that's pretty fantastic. Um, I get it. People, you know, really wanna hate on, on this company here. Oh, okay. And, you know, people are gonna hate. That's what they're gonna do. Haters gonna hate, right? If you're, if you're automatically discrediting this knife just because of the manufacturer, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. If you've never used a Dow Strong knife, um, you know, give them a try. I use them. Um, I've had some beef with some of the knives that I've used, you know, uh, I've talked to the owner, uh, to David about things and he's always had an open line to me for certain things. Um, and you know, if, if I come across anything that you guys see in the video, I'm always open to, to communicate with them and see what's up. But man, this one feels so good. I was, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw the knife, the profile, the just the finish on it, I thought, you know, maybe we were we were just going over the top. Dude, you can go as far over the top as you want with function all day long. If it works, I'm all I'm all aboard. All right. How much does this knife cost? This knife costs uh, I believe $119. So a little over 100. Um, it's very handle heavy the um, balance is gonna be handle heavy, if you will. Uh, the balance is right behind the choil, but because of the angle here, it's kind of hard to, to get it to sit nicely on the finger and balance for you guys, but um, it's, it's, very, it's very unique. Um, oh, what's steel? <laughs> We're talking about a BD1N steel. Uh, so an American style steel, American steel, very hard, um, solid, steel i use a lot of knives with bd1n i noticed you know in terms of uh, performance and edge retention they seem to be up there uh, this is a very very cool knife the sheath all the swag that you get um, kind of like a kritzke style with this little sharp tip there but man i dig it i like it Dow strong congratulations man you guys did an awesome job with this knife i wish i would have reviewed it a little bit sooner i was just tied up with some stuff but anyways hundred dollars definitely worth considering looking at. I really like it. I'll keep using it, of course. Um, let you guys know what I, I think about it. Um, hopefully I can get to do a, a, maybe a three or four month review on this one again and see how I, how, what I feel about the handle and how it's hold up. But uh, so far, I am impressed with this knife. That length is perfect for it. It feels great. So eight and a half inch, um, if you never use one. Uh, I typically use an eight inch and so eight and a half, uh, you don't notice it too much. Uh, this knife has, you know, a little bit more handle length than I'm used to, but it feels very good and it's, it grips very well. So I dig it, man. I can't say very many things bad about this knife. I can't say very many things bad about knives that I, I usually come across. I try to be uh, very fair. I don't try to bash anybody, but uh, you know, if something's not solid or if I've got an issue with it, I'm gonna bring up bring it up with you guys and let you know in my video. In terms of this, um, it is flashy, um, but it is smooth. The cuts are clean, the edge is sharp. BD1N, it's doing everything right that I can see. The G10 carbon fiber, it looks fantastic. It looks fast, right? There you go, it's, fa it's a fast knife. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there's a little bell that you can click on that'll show you whenever I come up with new videos. Um, 
apologies for the delays in some of these, but man, uh, I'm glad to get back in it. Again, I thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be getting more videos out. Just stay tuned. Um, if you haven't subscribed again, subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think about it. What do you think about me coming back? And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.